good morning dear children and once again welcome back to the classes already we have started to study about the continent of australia yesterday we have learned about the uh, introduction location and extent then boundaries and the political divisions today we will study about the uh, physical features based on the difference in physical features australia is divided into four they are the eastern highlands the central lowlands the western plateau and the coastal plains okay on the basis of difference in physical features australia is divided into four what are they they are the eastern highlands the central lowlands the western plateau and the coastal plains let us study in detail about them first the eastern highlands the eastern highlands lie parallel to the eastern coast of australia what is the eastern coast of uh, the eastern coast of australia is made up of the uh, pacific ocean and uh, the eastern highlands are Uh, parallel to the eastern coast of uh, australia they start from the cape york in queensland okay they start the eastern highlands start from the cape york it is located in the uh, state of queensland and to the state of victoria in the south okay and it is located along the eastern coast of uh, australia they include the great dividing range and the great barrier reef the great dividing range and the great barrier reef is also located in the eastern coast of uh, or in the eastern highlands now let us study in detail about the great dividing range they formed a formidable barrier to the early settlers and we are known as the great dividing range the east great dividing range or the eastern highlands acted as a great barrier to the early settlers and it is also known as the great dividing range the early settlers were not able to enter in the continent of australia because of the presence of this mountain system in the eastern side and it is also known as the great dividing range earlier the original ranges consisted of a number of folded rocks okay in the beginning or in ancient times the eastern highlands were consisted of consisting of a number of folded mountains but because of the continuous activity of erosion and weathering what happened these folded mountains were uh, reduced in height and now they become something like a plateaus and they sloped towards the east into the pacific ocean mount kosciusko in the south, new, in new south wales is the highest peak in australia what is the highest peak in what is the name of the highest peak in australia the highest peak in australia is mount kosciusko it is in the state of uh, new south wales in new south wales and in the northeast of victoria many peaks are snow covered and uh, are known for winter sports in new south wales and in uh, north east of victoria what is the condition of the mountains sir? mountains are covered with the snow and they are very interesting and they are famous for the uh, winter sports in new south wales the great dividing range is known as blue mountains in gray in new south wales sir, the great dividing range is also known as the uh, blue mountains in victoria state in victoria state they are called australian alps 
what is the name of the great dividing range in victor in the state of victoria in the state of victoria the great dividing range known as australian alps a number of rivers like murray and darling start its journey from these mountains and they are used uh, for the generation of hydroelectric power hydro what is hydroelectric power hydroelectric power means the electricity a number of rivers some examples of rivers are uh, murray and uh, darling they start their journey from these mountains and uh, are used for the generation of uh, electricity now let us study about the great barrier reef the great barrier reef of australia is the largest coral reef in the world the great barrier reef of australia is the largest coral reef in the world it stretches over 1900 meters along the northeast coast of australia in the pacific ocean it is found in the pacific ocean and in the northeast coast of australia and it is almost 1900 meter in long and what is coral reef or how it is formed coral reef is formed by tiny sea creatures called coral polyps they are formed by the small living organisms which are found in the seas and they are called coral polyps they live in shallow warm and salty waters of the sea this coral polyps lives in shallow warm and salty waters of the sea they secrete calcium carbonate a white substance which after the death of the polyp consolidate into a ridge like a structure in many shapes and forms or sizes okay they this coral polyps secrete release calcium carbonate and they are something calcium carbonate is a say white substance which after the death of the polyp consolidate into a mountain like shape or structure in many shapes and sizes they occur in different colors like pink red and white and are a great uh, attraction to the or it is a great attraction to the tourist they are a site of great beauty through clean waters although it is a great tourist attraction it is dangerous for the ships mostly they create accidents for the ships while they are traveling through the water bodies human activities like mining may lead to the damage to the reef and its aquatic life the activities like mining lead to the destruction of a uh, reef and its aquatic life that is the end of today's class thank you very much for listening to my class thank you